Hi, this will be a short video that will begin a series of videos on SpriteKit and Swift and Xcode and making games for iOS. Um, here I am in Xcode and I'm using version 7.3 and I'm going to get started with a brand new project. So I'll click here and I open up the default set of iOS projects. You'll click on iOS application and there are five default projects here. One of them is named Game. We're going to start with this one. And anytime you make a game, this is probably a good place to start. I'm going to go over some of the details of what is in the starter project, which isn't really much. So you could actually make, uh, make a game project from single view application also. Um, it's probably easiest to start with this one, though. So I'll click Next. And I'll save this game to a folder here and I'll call it um, how about game right and we'll save it to actually let me go back there you know let me point out um, I'm using language Swift and I've got game technology set to sprite kit okay and then device here is going to be iPhone okay um, you can choose any of the options here that you like I'm going to do all of the code examples in uh, Swift though so I'll click next and I will save this into a folder here. I have a folder here called Sprite Kit, and I'll save my game in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to see here is that um, is that uh, we get a um, game view controller, a storyboard, and then we get the app delegate, and we also get these two extra files gamescene.sks and gamescene swift okay so let's do a quick tour of this just so you understand it a lot of people miss how these things um, work together so um so i thought i'd go over them here um first of all the uh, main storyboard in storyboard here if you're familiar with making um, apps with ui kit you'll see a view controller okay so here's my basic view controller here let me change the size of this so we have a little more space here and uh, maybe I'll open this thing back up, right? So essentially, the game project comes with a single view controller, and there's really nothing in here, right? It's just an empty view controller. They set the background color to black as the only thing that they did, right? Um, there is one special thing that's happening here. To understand SpriteKit, you have to realize that your SpriteKit game runs in a UI view. So everything that's drawn in the game is drawn into that view, okay? And in this example here, what they've done is they've taken the, the background view for the view controller and they've cast it as a class SK view. So that's sprite kit view. Okay, so essentially any view can be a sprite kit view. So you can include um, sprite kit stuff in any UI kit project by making a view and assigning, um, you know, assigning it the class SK view and then building your game stuff into that view. Okay, um, you could even make this play in a little your game play in a little window or a box by making the view smaller. They've um, made the game full screen by you know using the background view as the as the place where they're gonna you know run their game right. Okay, so they've got SK view here. Okay, and this is the view that's that's connected to the view controller. So we have a reference. We don't have to make an IB outlet, but there is a reference to this view um, by default in the view controller as the view property. Okay, so let's go over the other features here. Okay, um, in game view controller Swift, this is what is going to you know set up and initialize your game. You're not going to put any game logic in here unless your game needs to talk to the view controller. Okay. So if we look at this here, what you're going to see is you're going to see view did load, and you should recognize that, right, if you're familiar with UIKit. And then there is this if statement here where they're going to load up the scene. So a scene is a game kit scene that you can assign to an SK view. Okay, so you can say SK view present, um, present scene, right? And you can name the scene that you've created, okay? Um, there's a few other options you can set on the SK view, and they include show frames per second and no, show node count. Okay, and so these I'm gonna um, load this up in the simulator here. It'll take a second for that to load, so I'll just talk while that's going. But these print a little message in the lower right corner that tell you how many frames per second you're getting and how many nodes you've created. And there's also a draw count too to tell you how many times you're drawing. Right. 
Um, the default app looks like this where you it says hello world and it shows the node count and the frames per second down here and then you can click and it makes this little rocket ship jet airplane spaceship thing whatever that is right okay all that we saw there with the spaceship and the chalk duster font right that actually happens in game scene okay and um, but before we go there let me point something out okay when you initialize a um, a sprite kit scene which game scene is right um, you can initialize it in a couple ways they've chosen to initial in the default project anyway they've chosen to initialize it as file named okay and then this is the name of the file and when we do this we're gonna load up an SKS file and this is kind of like a special storyboard for games okay and in this example this the SKS file is I'm loading it up here you can see it's a um, just like this yellow box right and you can use this as an editor for your games and you can drag objects into here um, there's a, a box there and if I had some pictures I could drag them in I'll grab the spaceship here right and I'll put the box on its nose there like that and then when I test um, my project we'll see that we've got a spaceship with a red box on its nose right so you can actually build your apps here kind of graphically and that can be helpful for this tutorial I'm not going to use the SKS file okay um, I'm going to save that for a later one I feel while this is is very nice and there's a lot of um, opportunity to get some use out of this for creating levels and things like that I also feel it obscures a lot of the features in um, sprite kit that um, you know that you'll miss because you can actually create all these objects in code and sometimes that's kind of better and it gives you a few more options that are um, that the SKS file doesn't have right so I would save this actually even though it seems easier I would save this as a more advanced feature and just learn to do everything in code first and then come back to this right and use this maybe on your advanced projects so what I'm gonna do to set my project up right now is I'm actually gonna delete the SKS file so I'll just click on it and hit delete and say move to trash and then now that I don't have an SKS file if I try to load this it's not gonna work because um, it's gonna say hey if let you know scene you know equal this file and then it's gonna look for game scene dot SKS and not find it so this is gonna return nil and we're not gonna you know get a scene right so you know if I test that um, you'll see that it just it's blank right so so anyway so how are we gonna get our game scene to work well what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up game scene Swift without the SKS file and to do that what we'll do is we'll get rid of the if statement here and that means we got to remove the curly brace here and at the bottom and then um, we'll kind of reformat that and now what we're gonna do is right here where it says game scene file named we're gonna change this to game scene um, size okay so if we don't load with a game scene we can just load or with an SKS file we can load a, our, our scene file which is game scene Swift those two files have the same name but this this is referring to the class game scene right so when we load up game scene we can also load it up with a size and we can just say hey you know make the game scene whatever size we like and what we'd like to do here is we'd like to make the game scene the size of the view right so what I'll do is I'll say uh, view dot uh, frame dot size okay so there we go there's our configuration there um, and now we can load this up and now we're loading game scene here with a size and there it is and now you can see it works like it did before but now we're not using the um, the SKS file okay so let's take one more quick look here at game scene.swift and now we're looking at where our game code is going to go and looking at this file here you'll see it says you know game scene is uh, subclassing sk scene we import sprite kit to get all the sprite kit library and then there's a couple methods here one of them is view did load or I mean did move to view sorry did move to view is the equivalent of view did load in UI kit so essentially when our game scene loads up and is displayed on the screen then this um, this method is called and we can do stuff you know to set up our game scene okay and in here what they've done is they've created a label and they've positioned it on the screen and then added as, as a child of this of this of the scene right so what we're gonna do 
is I'm actually just going to delete this because I don't want to see the label. Um, so I'll just delete that. And then let's take a look at what else we have here, right? Um, down here, you can see we've got touches began. So that's very similar to um, touches in UIKit, though usually you're abstracting those into a gesture recognizer. But here in, in you know game world, we want to just get the raw touches to do stuff with usually. So in here, they're, they're just processing the touches and then they're adding a new sprite at the location of the touch. Why don't we delete this for loop here? And then this will be our game scene. Okay, so this is where we're going to start our project, and maybe just to do a little something here, we'll make an object and add it to the scene. Okay, so imagine you know I wanted to create a small box and place it in the middle of the screen. It might be a game character, it might be another you know game object, right? Maybe I'll make a variable here, I'll call it box, I'll set the type to sk sprite node. Okay, this is sort of a default sprite object that can have an image attached to it. It can have an X and a Y position, a rotation, um, a Z position, and a lot of other features, right? Essentially, this is a visible object on the screen, okay? So we'll put this guy here, and I'm going to get an error because I'll need to have an initializer. So for right now, I'll declare it as, a, as an unwrapped optional by putting the exclamation point there. And then what I'm going to do is in did move to view, I'll say box equals SK sprite node and then I'll use one of the initializers to create a sprite node. And there's a lot of different ways that you can initialize this. I'm going to start with this one right here, color and size. So I'll set the color to, um, how about, uh, oh, I don't know, how about cyan color? And then the size right here will make it, um, how about 40 by 60? Okay, so there's our sprite node. And in order to see a sprite node, we have to add it to the scene with add child. This is kind of like add subview in UIKit. So I'll say add child, and we will add box to the scene. Okay. Um, let's take a quick look at that, and we'll notice that sprite kit um, has a different coordinate system than UIKit. So sprite kit is going to use the lower left corner as 0, 0. So this is 0x and 0y. Okay, In UIKit it's up here. Um, so what we're going to do to place this in the middle of this, we're going to keep we're going to keep aware of that and then we're going to move this box to the middle of the screen by saying box.position. Right, and every sprite node has a position with an x and a y. And we can set this equal to, um, and since we, you know, we pass the view in here, we can say uh, um, or so we can say CG size, sorry. We've passed the view in, so it, and we've initialized this with a size, so we know what the size is. So we can say size.width, you know, divided by 2, and box position dot y equal size height divided by 2, right? And that should place our box in the middle of the screen. Hey, there we go, right? So there's our box, 40 by 60. Um, Zero zeros down here, so we went over to half the screen and then up half the height to get to here. Okay, so anyway, there's a quick introduction to Sprite Kit, and then we're going to continue with this and we're going to try and make a game, sort of a side scrolling game, maybe something like Jetpack Joyride or some variation of that. Okay, um, and I'm going to try and do a video every day to see if I can and see if I can keep up with that. Right, and anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that that's helpful.